All our toys are suddenly gone. Our adventure has just begun. To get them back, we travel around in hopes that one day they might be found. Toy Seekers Episode 16 The Bubble Trap The Brazilian adventure of the Roundy family continues when the enormous, toy-consuming wanderer, the bubble suddenly appeared above the football field. The bubble is here! Run, children! Come, come! Mom sounded scared. She took her children by the arm, and together with Mrs. Circle and her kids, they all ran to safety. Stop! Otto yelled. We just got that back, you nasty bead bubble. Oh no, it will take everything away again, Mom worried. What should we do now? Dad, come here, please don't get hurt. This must stop, we must catch it, Mr. Roundy stated firmly. Then together, they ran out of the stadium. Looking around the street, among the small shops, they noticed one selling home appliances. Dad immediately knew the solution. This way, come Mr. Circle, we can catch it with a powerful vacuum cleaner. There it is, swallowing a bicycle right now. And they ran as fast as they could. When we are close enough, we can vacuum it up and trap it, Mr. Roundy told his partner. And so they grabbed the vacuum cleaner and marched towards the big pink bubble. Closer, come on, Mr. Circle said. Then Mr. Roundy pushed the vacuum cleaner really hard, and the bubble got stuck on the suction head. Honey, you did an amazing job, Mom said. Nice job. Well, well done, done Dad. Dad. The children shouted. You've caught it. Now, you big pink monster, we've got you, Mr. Roundy said angrily. Why did you steal our toys? We traveled around the world. We got into many dangerous situations. We got really tired, and all this because of you. Hello there. All of a sudden, the bubble said, I'm sorry, but I didn't know I was doing anything wrong. The toys I took from the pool were abandoned. Nobody played with them. My intention was to give them away to those who are left alone or have nothing. I didn't mean to hurt anyone, the bubble admitted sadly. I see now, Mom replied. You've truly had good intentions. Thank you, the bubble said. I promise I will be more careful next time. I won't take anything without asking. But if you have some toys you don't need anymore, please give them to me. I will be happy to take them, and I promise they will go into the right hands. That's a great idea! Mrs. Circle joined the conversation, and she gave a small rubber ball to the bubble. Here, you can take this! Thank you for your help, dear Circles. Take care of yourselves. We were a good team, don't you think? Dad said. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a nice journey. Mr. Circle replied. Dear Bubble, please come home with us. We have some toys for you too. Mom waved at the Bubble. We have plenty of them actually, Emma said. Mom nodded in agreement, and they all went home together. Here you are. That's a lot of toys. Snoozy was enthusiastic when he placed the bundle before the bubble. Here are some more. Otto ran out with a big box, and Emma followed him with her old ballet shoes in her hands. I am so grateful. Again, please accept my apologies for taking your toys, the bubble said. Don't worry about that, 
We've learned a lot and had great adventures. We've traveled around the world. Mom smiled. Please come back sometime. We will always have something for you. You can make many needy children happy. That's a great idea, the bubble replied. Then it swallowed the toys and left to travel the world. Goodbye, dear roundies. See you soon. We might as well go on an adventure together once and help anyone in need. Goodbye, Bye, Bubba. Later. Take care of yourself. See you soon. The Roundy family said goodbye, and they watched the big pink benevolent bubble floating away in the sunset. All's well that ends well, that's for sure. Now the Roundies finished their tour. The moral is to do good deeds, for this is what the whole world needs. <laughs>